Howdy everybody! Welcome back to the conservatory. Where today I have so many hungry slimes, it's ridiculous. So last time, we decided to scout around on the volcanic island, which was nice. But now, I don't really have much of anything to do. So I'm going to go back to the volcanic island and see if I can root around in the ruins. There's like three of them. Right, right, right. Ugh. Words. Right along the uh, south coast. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. But first, like any good farmer, awake bright and early. <laughs> I have to mitigate damage and make sure that my slimy rabbits get their food. Mm. Alright. What are you eating? Carrots? Good. You? Nothing. Carrots. You still have chickens, so don't fuck with me. You're still good on your food. You're good on your food. Got your food. Okay. I will admit, I'm getting a little concerned. These rabbit slimes are really very effective. And by that, I mean, holy shit, they provide way too many cores too quickly. I dropped the dark crystal. I dropped it. Wait. The next person I have to go visit is a meteor, so you can have these. I should deposit these ports because this is the first time I've had them. And it's probably for the best if they go into the refinery. <clears throat> Oh, I could make that now. I know where all of these things are.
This is the thing I keep running out of. So... There. Okay, let's go answer the phone. Mochi! Oh, hey, wait, is this a, is this a plot thing? Hey B, I have something for you to try, and to be honest, if it works, I'm going to be super creeped out. I've created a blueprint of a key. A special archive key for the drones you've been finding. If any archival data exists in them, this should be the way to access it. Drone archive key. I say should, because I actually have no idea. But if those drones are from the pages of my own journals, well, this key is how I would access their archives, if I ever built anything like them. I know this hardly makes sense, but I needed to try it. If it works and an archive exists and it somehow allows you to understand what's happening on the island more than you do now, well, I am happy to have been able to help you. I kinda owe you one still, right? Ugh, I didn't say that. Just make the stupid key and don't tell me yet if it works or not. Because if it does, I really don't think I'm ready to deal with knowing that. Later, Taylor. And good luck. Oh, finally! Plot! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, Bob. <laughs> Yes, what? <laughs> da 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 <laughs> Present item! <laughs> oh my god, you're like a living troll. <laughs> but most of the time they're just a touch of rocks. Okay! <laughs> Alright, so now that I finally have an objective... Where would this be? No? No? This? Alright, so I need lava dust, jellystone, fire ports, and hunter ports. That shouldn't be too hard. I know where all of those things can be got. I should start with the jellystone. Also emptying my pockets. I am a little confused, though, because if this key lets me see the archive data on the drones, then what have I been reading from them up till now? Just journal entries? Alright, so the bulk of the jellystone is right here on this island. Somewhere. 
I just have to look for it. Um... Hey, Brian. I'm not on the list, but I appreciate it. We learned the hard way that the Seven Z Corporation really is a bunch of sketchy bastards. Whoever's been leaving the drones behind discovered something on the Rainbow Isles that they deemed too dangerous to be left to its own devices. So they contacted a company of professionals to help them deal with the problem. And instead of sending actual help. They decided to send all of their business associates because they saw profit. <laughs> so, yeah. The person decided to deal with the problem themselves. They apparently got themselves blown up, or whatever. And... Uh, that caused... I'm assuming the reason why this place is called I Rainbow Island, and not the Rainbow... Rainbow... Ugh. Oh my god, I keep tripping on my fucking words. And not the Rainbow Isles is because all of these chunks of land may or may not have all been one island at one point. And if that's the case, uh... That means there was a massive fucking explosion, and... It actively caused the land to begin to separate. Which, yeah, understandably, would cause someone to die. But, um... I need more jelly stone. But, yeah, so... There's all of that. But then there's also the situation with, uh... The fact that this person discovered what is apparently some sort of labyrinth on the other side of these massive caves. One of their entries confirms that this individual, whoever they were, went to the Glass Desert, which was in the first game. 
and I suspect this individual is the same person who destroyed the massive Stargate looking thing that uh, Hobson left behind for us to use. Because that thing was fucking busted by the time we got to it. We didn't get the chance to use it. Things are actually starting to make sense into a cohesive plotline. There's just one thing that doesn't make much sense right now. How is this individual connected to Mochi Miles? Because the, the technology and the drones this individual's been using is Mochi's design. A design that she made when she was a child and never got around to building because it was too advanced and societal technology wasn't advanced enough to make it. Meaning this drone should not exist right now, but it does because somehow Mochi willed it into existence. Oh, so I just noticed it has a big number 9 on it, and I wonder if they're all numbered. Finding everything that I need is going to take so much time. <sighs> Thankfully, I think I can get everything else that I need from the Volcano Isle. So this is really the only thing I have to look for here. I should pick this up. That's mine. Thank you. Oh, shut up, you. Actually. Oh, hey. Another pod. Really old looking 7 Z Corporation pod. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. So, wait. If the 7 Z Corporation is the same corporation that the individual called for to assist, then that would mean these rainbow. Pods are like prototypes of the shit that we ended up getting at back in the first game. But they're all still active. Ah, oh, shut up, you lucky cat. I don't have anything for you. Alright. So... 
my quest for Jellystone is not turning out too well. It seems to be a much harder to find resource than I thought it would be. Ooh. Yeah, they all have the number seven on them. Over there. I should really get a refinery link and just keep it on my person at all times. Um... Hmm. I am finding so much of the uh, deep sea brine. get over there. To that area with the Aurora Borealis. If I remember correctly from all of the uh, game updates that come up on the Steam store page, there's supposed to be a mountain region that's like covered in snow and has the saber slides. So I'm pretty sure that's that place over there. But I have no idea how to get over there. Alright. What more do I need? I am severely lacking. Ugh. Okay. I think I saw some jelly stone on the volcanic island, but I can't be too sure. Okay.
There we go. I will have a sea of rainbow grass. All right. All who know my name shall fear me. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to do some editing. I was hoping to find some more on my own, but... Looks like I'm gonna have to go... Alright, let's do this then. Bum ba bum! Nope! No! Oh my god, no! hill I chose to die on. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Alright. Um. Hey, you see, you can see the subtle glow from here. I'm not that far away from it. I think that one's... yeah. Though if I really wanna just go straight into it, I should probably... located in one of the most dangerous areas. I... I had lost the other two.
What was it that I needed again? Boom ports, hunter ports, lava dust, jelly stone. It is, I guess. Slimes are primor primordial. No. <laughs> uh, the boom slimes are primarily uh, meat eaters, so. If I want any of them to start crapping some ports, I'm gonna need a lot of meat. myself in the lava. Try Morty. Another one all the way up there? How the hell do I...
accessing GG Love. I never managed to conclude if the Prisma waves caused all this lava to erupt to the surface, but I believe it did. The rainbow grass and iridescent rocks, all lovely to see in the ecosystem, seems to coexist with it to some degree. But this lava, this is the breaking point. My guess is it started like it always does. It creeps up a few degrees over the years, and you hardly notice. And then one day you realize you're cooking. Ugh, I wish I had a dog to pet right now. What? What a off-handed last remark. <laughs> Stepped in lava again. I'm gonna stop doing this. What the hell is this? Where am I? Oh, hey, I'm at one of those ruins. I actually made it to one of my goals for the day. That's nice. Oh, wait, this looks like a... Huh. Have anything I could add to this? Is there anything here worth collecting? Looks like 
there is something on the other side of this, but I don't know how to get over there. Alright, um... get up there. Ah, too high. Fine. Get up there. Ah. It's a river of lava. Hello. These things stand up pretty. Uh, Pretty much, don't they? Ooh. It's such a shame that I don't need that mineral right now. Oh, I'm close to there. If I can just get a little bit higher. Higher. <laughs> oh. Oh no, shit! Did I do it? Is this as high as I need to be? I don't even know what my end goal here is at the moment. I just... Hello. Oh, hi! Hi. Didn't mean to encroach on your, uh, little area here. Oh, I'm really close to the other ruins. Okay. So that's that. Um... I'm trying to get over there, because I want to see what's behind the dome. There's like a ledge over there, and I think I see something over there, so... Ha! Got it! It was worth it, damn it! Oh, it really was worth it. Shit.
carousel. Cool. Now how do I get out of here? Besides dying, of course. Which is always an option, technically speaking. But I don't want it. You know what? This feels like an appropriate place for me to leave this. At least for right now. I'll be back. you a little something, I'll give you some little, something big, big, short red ash wood. Oh. Well, lava flows, these ash wood trees have fiery red leaves. Nice! Okay. Hmm. <sighs> That's all the lava dust I need. Need more jelly stone. Fire plorts and hunter plorts. Er, wait a minute, what? Fire plorts. Oh no. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Why did I not see that before? Um. Okay. Chicken Island? Chicken Island. Also, I completely forgot about you. I am so sorry. You, what do you eat? You eat nectar and veggies. I have neither on me. Shit. Ugh. Why do I keep running low on food? Yes, I'm 
to me. Or you can have those. Sayonara. Holy shit. <laughs> um. Oh, you guys are disturbingly okay. Even though I haven't checked up on you in, what, like, a week? Jeez. Okay. Well, either way, I'm gonna give you more of this. And I'm gonna build one of these. I... Wait a minute, what? Why is this a separate thing? An ash trail allows you to collect the ash in its nerdy part of its base, which is eaten exclusively by fire slimes. Yes, I need that. Thank you. Now I have to go get some fire slimes. Heh, alright. I mean, I kind of figured I was going to have to do that eventually anyway, so... But I might grab some more Petal Slimes too while I'm at it, because there are some bodies of water over there that I can just kind of throw them in. Alright, and I am back! And here on the Volcano Island. So... Now that I know I need fire points, let's go find us some fire slimes. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the hunter slimes were over here somewhere. So. I'm going to have to go over to the other island. But first... First things first. I realized that I needed, uh... Oh my god. Um, lava ash for other stuff too, so... Oh, so something. But no. But not right now. I think I'll help myself to whatever ores I find. And this? I don't need that. over here. Yeah, no, this is the right way for me. Alright. Boom slimes. There is bound to be some fire slimes somewhere. There we go.
I think it only fitting that I get them straight up, so... Tempting to collect that, but I need the space and other things. Um, plus, I don't even have a use for. Um, oh my god, no. I don't even have a use for the. Uh, well, whatever it's called. the lightning glass stuff. And at least as far as I'm aware, I don't have a current use for it. So until a use does come up, it, I'm really just collecting it for fun. Which I guess is okay, but like, I... It's a waste of my time. I need more... Lava ash. Come on, there's gotta be more of it around here somewhere. Maybe if I didn't manage to get up higher? Shit. No! No, 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 no! I understand that falling into the slime sea counts as a game over and it sends me home. But I don't want to know what happens if I get sent into the lava. More primordy oil. And yes, I I hear the pun in there. Yay! I have three. lava area. I'm in the exact opposite section I want to be in. Oh my god. Thank God. <laughs> I need to stop uh, losing track of my stamina. It's like a goddamn death sentence.
You know, I just had a horrible thought. What if all of the resources I'm after only resets after I get started? I haven't slept in a few in-game days now, so... Ooh, are those new springs I see? I only needed five more of those, but I'm glad that I have them. Having excess of any resource is always a good thing, especially when you run into those moments where you realize you're incredibly low on something, even though you really shouldn't be. Fire slams. I got the ash. I'm pretty sure I already have all of the jelly stone I need, but I'll have to double check when I go back. I am really curious now. What is the death message for falling into lava? Because, like, when you fall into the, the slime sea, it just goes like, Oh no, you've fallen into the slime sea and got knocked out. But don't worry, a full 24 hours rest will fix you up right as rain. Even though, obviously, B just drowned. So... Like, what does it say for lava? Oh no, you fell into a lava pit. Don't worry, 74 hours of rest will fix you up right as red. Which I'm pretty sure isn't correct. Alright, let's... let's take a look at this. Hmm. Alright, now I just need hunter ports and fire ports. Mm, wait a minute, don't I have... No, I don't. I never thought to pick one up. Weird. Alright. Hmm. Well, let's put this little guy where he belongs. On... Chicken Island! There is Chicken Island. No, that's... Cave. That's the den. 
In Chicken Island. Where is it? Here it is. Well, I'm happy to see that everything is thriving. Better than I expected. Uh, man, I've made a mess of this area. What about you guys? You doing fine? Oh yeah, you're you're just chilling with your food. You're you're fine. You're fine. In fact, let me just help you out by putting some of your food back in the theater. There. I... Do you know where I was trying to put you? You seem to be aware of where I was trying to put you. Okay. There you go. Already low? Good lord. Okay, um. I'm gonna have to start growing shit in here just to feed to the flames. Um. Oh, no, wait, actually. I'm an idiot! <laughs> I can just feed chickens to it. Just stay that way, okay? I'll be back later. I don't particularly like that I'm being forced to actually harvest from the fire slimes. Because in last game, they were just my harmless pets. But... Whatever. A resource is a resource. I suppose. While we wait for the for the fire slimes to be useful again, let's go get those hunter ports, shall we?
I don't remember where. Alright, so it's over that way? Okay. If only you go up just a little bit higher. that had really tall mushrooms. And that's where all the hunter slides were. It's over there, isn't it? Somewhere. What's with all this yellow stuff? Is this pollen? I... Clouds swell to unusual levels. Plant life in the area will go rapidly and erratically, spreading creeping vines in all directions. These vines will spawn large buds that blossom into fruits and veggies and make for a great hunting ground for the wild tangle slimes that sometimes appear. Yeah, that's what this is. This is that event. But I haven't seen any vines yet, so. Okay, so if I remember correctly... Hunter Slimes prefer Mushroom Fur. Ugh, I am screwing up all of my vowels. Hunter slimes prefer mushroom forests. There we go. Of which I know there's at least one of those here somewhere. I ran into it multiple times and had so many problems because of it. Where is it? Also, I'm taking you with me. I can't afford to keep leaving you here.
Yeah, definitely not here. I need to get a higher view. This pollen is making it impossible to see much, too. These are those vines that I was warned about, okay? So they're actually starting to grow. being around here somewhere. It was actually really close to the teleportation spot, so... Looking at this is making my sinuses feel like they're clogged. The power of suggestion, folks, is no joke. the wrong way somehow. Ooh. Mine. Thank you. 
I've lost all sense of where the fuck this is supposed to be. Oh my god. The map isn't helping me in the slightest. What would help is getting a higher vantage point, but that's not helping either. Because the fucking fallen is all over the place. Wait, is that it up ahead? Oh, please, is that the end? Yes. This is the mushroom forest. But now it's daytime. So I don't know if I'll be able to... Aha! Gotcha. Foolish kitten, you're mine now. No. Fuck you. My cat. You can't have it back. <laughs> Where's the nearest out? Uh, I need out. That would be a rather interesting, um, what's it called, behavioral pattern. Like if you took a, a hunter slime and suddenly all of the Largo hunter slimes came after you because it was a kitten or something. That would be an interesting mechanic. Mine! <laughs> Good. Now I have to get back to the house. Oh, you are taunting me with this. Okay. I cannot permit myself to fall into the water. Oh, sure. Now that I don't need it anymore. It's all over the fucking place. The jelly stone. Okay, whatever. I'm just uh well, what's what's the term called? Grumbling? God. If anyone listened to me speak They'd immediately assume English is not my second language, or is is not my second language. It's not my first language. <laughs> it's 
English is my first language. <laughs> A likely lie that nobody will believe. <laughs> oh my god. I have to stop tripping on all of my words. Okay. Yeah, move. Checked up on Fruit Island in a while. I should probably do that. But first. You know what? What happened to my original goal of visiting the ruins? Eh, it's fine. Oh my god. It's just playing with its food. It's like a cat. Hmm. Oh, damn it. I have to stop yawning. How are you guys doing? Oh my god, it's all over the place. Alright, well, I'll give you this and that and. Oh my god. Oh, I am so sorry. I just outright murdered that puddle slime. Oh. Well, um. Enjoy your new home. You were supposed to have a friend. But I kinda sacrificed him to hell. Sorry. Now I genuinely feel bad. I did not mean to do that. Oh, okay, I guess I can... Did it go? I can make one exception. Yeah. Oh my god. It is so dark in here. That is nuts. I don't think I've ever stepped foot inside a pet, one of the corrals with the UV thing on. Instant night. That's amazing. Now, it's just a matter of waiting.
for the ports to be made. So... Mm. Ah, damn it. happily playing with your food. And... Hi, how are you guys doing? Why are you the problem, children? You poop too much, you eat too much, I have to keep cleaning your litter box. What is wrong with you? Rabbits aren't even supposed to be using litter boxes. Where are they? No, 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 I'm pretty sure they live like gerbils. Um, but that's good to them. What is wrong with me? water lettuce. One last half of the fade. It had to be done. 
As things stand, I think four of them is too many. There, that might fix things a little. So realistically speaking, I've been so preoccupied getting these uh, things that I haven't really taken any time to strategically plan out this farm. And I think that's what's hurting me the most right now. I'm probably going to spend the whole next episode doing that. Um... Yeah, that sounds useful, but... something. Wait, this is in the utilities? Wait, does this show up on my map? Oh shit! That would have been so useful at the beginning of the game! You jackass. Get in yourself, unless you're wearing a slime as a safety helmet. What is the point of this if I can't get in myself? Pink Warp Depot. Blue Teleporter. It allows for travel between two locations of your choosing. Oh, hey, I could make this. Nice. It hacks the ancient warp network on Rainbow Island, allowing one way travel to Ember Valley. Okay, so here's the thing. I understand, and I actually really like the idea, of having these one-time use portals. Because then it forces you to go back and pick them back up and reuse them. That's nice. That's an awesome idea. It really gives a real uh, survivalist feel to the game. And I like the fact that you gain these portals. Um, I'm assuming as, like, 
a reward for clearing them. Because that just means you can go back whenever you want, wherever you want. It would be a whole lot easier if I had these set up inside the conservatory instead of having to constantly go over to the old ancient portals all over the place. But then you include these things. The set of two teleporters. Which, okay, so if I don't use these to completely replace these, and instead were to use them to like fast travel around the conservatory, because that's the only other use I can think of for them, it wouldn't matter because I could invalidate their use with the market link and the refinery link, just put these, both of these items in each of the different designated sections of the conservatory, then I wouldn't need to keep running back. I... Here's the thing. I have a refinery link. And I have one set up in the deck. I need to set up a refinery link wherever I have slides. Except for the main section, since. No, you know what? It would be faster if I had one here, too. Because I keep having to go down below into the basement otherwise. For the sake of efficiency, let's say if I got one, two, three more refinery links and set them up in the main section, the chicken section, because I have that one slime there, and over in the shore area. Altogether, that would be pretty efficient. <sighs> but I also need... A market link. I don't need one for the central area because I have the large market thing there. But I do feel like I should set up a market link in the den, on the shore, and in the chicken area. I should also make sure that I keep both a refinery link and a market link on my person at all times for when I'm out traveling. Just like how I have to be careful with these one-way portals. That's a lot of construction that I'm going to have to do, preferably after I make this drone archive key, because this is taking up a lot of unusual resources already. So... Yeah. Oh my god, you're all hungry again? Now, you know what? Fuck you. Your feeder is full. I should lower your numbers. 
I am gonna lower your numbers, damn it. There shall only be three of you left. It's a new rule I'm implementing. Three Largos per, per pen. No more, no less. I'm sorry. But you fat bastards just won't stop shitting all over the place. There, not the evil deed has been done. <sighs> Hopefully I can finally start normalizing this farm. Okay. So, this is going to be the end of the video here. I will probably keep playing just a little bit off screen, just until I have all the resources. Then things will be hunky dory, and I can actually start doing things interesting. Of interest, or whatever. So, yeah. If you like this sort of stuff, please feel free to like, comment, and maybe subscribe. If you didn't, that's perfectly fine too, because there's plenty of other shit here for you to watch. <laughs> so, yeah. Later, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.